Have you ever wondered what's really inside those boxes and bags of processed food in your pantry? Let's take a closer look. In the modern world, we all rely on processed foods to some extent. They're convenient and easy to prepare, which makes them a common choice for busy individuals and families. But what exactly are processed foods? Simply put, these are foods that have been altered from their natural state for safety reasons or for convenience. This includes anything from canned vegetables and frozen dinners to chips and cookies. Now, not all processed foods are bad. Some simply involve cleaning, cutting, and cooking raw ingredients. But the ones we're focusing on today are what we call highly processed foods. These are the foods that are not only cooked but also packed with added sugars, unhealthy fats, and high levels of sodium. These include your favorite microwavable meals, sugary cereals, and those bags of chips you can't seem to resist. Sure, they're convenient, they save you time in the kitchen, and they're designed to taste good. But have you ever stopped to consider their nutritional value, or rather, their lack thereof? In order to fix our health issues and be healthy, we have to fix our diet, and we can't fix our diet until we know what is in it and what was done to it. We have to understand that nutrition is not the same as food science. Food science is what happens to food between the ground and the mouth. Nutrition is what happens to food between the mouth and the body cell. Each is dependent on the other, yet both are hidden from the public. That's on purpose because the food industry don't want you to know that it's the food processing that rendered the current concepts of nutrition moot. If you are concerned about your health and you feel that you are learning from our channel, please subscribe and join our family and hit the notification button so you won't miss any video. And if you would like to know what you will learn by doing so, please continue watching and the answer is in the end of this video. Highly processed foods often lack essential nutrients, leaving your body craving more. They're low in fiber, a key component that helps you feel full and satisfied. And let's not forget the high levels of added sugars and unhealthy fats, which can lead to a myriad of health problems. Among the most concerning health risks are diabetes, obesity, and high blood pressure. Consuming these highly processed foods can lead to weight gain and elevated blood sugar levels, both of which are key factors in the development of type 2 diabetes. Obesity is another major concern, with processed foods often contributing to excessive calorie intake. And the high levels of sodium? They can increase your blood pressure, putting you at risk for heart disease. So, while that box of processed food might save you some time, it could be costing you your health. But it's not just these immediate health risks. Consuming high-processed foods regularly can also have long-term effects. For instance, research has linked a diet high in processed foods to an increased risk of certain types of cancer. Moreover, these foods can negatively impact your gut health, affecting everything from your mood to your immune system. So, while that packaged snack may be calling your name, remember what's at stake? The momentary pleasure these foods provide is not worth the potential damage they can cause to your health. It's clear that the damage these foods can cause is far from insignificant. Now that we've uncovered the dangers of high processed foods, what can we do about it? The first step in this journey towards healthier eating is becoming a savvy consumer. It's about knowing what's in the food you're eating. One of the most practical ways to do this is by reading food labels. Look out for terms like hydrogenated oils, high fructose corn syrup, and monosodium glutamate. These are all code words for processed foods. If you see them on the label, it's a good sign you should put that item back on the shelf. Next, let's talk about the power of fresh, whole foods. Fresh fruits, vegetables, lean meats and whole grains should form the bulk of your diet. These foods are not only packed with essential nutrients, but they also lack the harmful additives found in many processed foods. Remember, the closer a food is to its natural state, the better it is for your body. Now, you might be wondering, but what about my favorite snacks and meals? Well that's where healthy swaps come in. Instead of reaching for a bag of chips, why not try air-popped popcorn, craving something sweet? Opt for a piece of fruit instead of a candy bar. By making these small changes you can drastically reduce your intake of processed foods without feeling deprived. But this journey isn't just about personal change, it's about creating a healthier future for everyone. So don't keep this knowledge to yourself. Share it with your loved ones, encourage your friends to join you in making healthier food choices, advocate for better food policies in your community together we can make a difference with knowledge and action we can protect our health and promote a healthier future in the end it all comes down to choice the power to change your health lies squarely in your hands every snack you reach for every meal you prepare 
is a chance to choose the path of wellness over the easy road of convenience. The high-processed foods that seem so tempting are often laden with hidden dangers that can lead to obesity, high blood pressure, and even diabetes. But armed with the knowledge you've gained, you can make better decisions. Decisions that nourish your body rather than harm it. Decisions that put you on the path to a healthier, happier life. This is not about deprivation, it's about choosing foods that are both delicious and nutritious. Foods that fuel your body rather than weigh it down. Foods that are worthy of you. Remember every meal is an opportunity to nourish your body. Choose wisely. I hope you benefited, liked and enjoyed this video. Remember, we are not just providing information but also changing and saving lives. Be one of us and share this video with your loved ones and those you care about. And if you would like to know what you will learn from our channel, here you go. Hello Diabetes Challengers, welcome to our channel. My name is Dr. Ali Qasim and I have discovered that I have diabetes in 2007. Our channel is about giving you a new perspective on your health that will empower you and allow you to make healthy changes for a healthier you. Once you understand how much power you have over your health and your body, you will become excited about how much you can do. And then when you make the decision to become a master of your health, you will change to new healthier habits. Because as long as we keep the old habits that cause all our health issues, we will not get any better. Once you make that decision, you will have control over your body rather than your body controls you. I started taking my medication in 2011 until 2017. At that time, I used to take uh, four types of medication, metformin, Jardians, Diamicron, and Tragenta. Dough. And in that time, my HbA1c was 10.7. And because of the harm these medications made to my body, I decided to stop taking these medications completely. At once in one night, I decided not to take any kind of medication and adjust my diet. In two weeks' time, I managed to control my blood sugar from 9.8 to 5.4 or 5.5 since then until today without any medication. And I will share all the information and all the experience with you. I have studied diabetes, high blood pressure, obesity. My references for food science uh, are Harvard University, Mayo Clinic, USDA, Food Standard Agency UK, and uh, Food Authority Australia, and other universities and authorities. I take the numbers and the research from all these sites and universities and I will take the average and put it in my videos. And my references for medicine and nutrition are, uh, number one, the first doctor that I followed uh, since 2017 who helped me uh, to, to stop my medication and uh, treat and deal with type 2 diabetes. Naturally, Dr. Jason Fung from Canada, who has three famous books, The Diabetes Code, The Cancer Code, and Obesity Code. Thank you so much, Dr. Jason. And Dr. John Yetkin from UK who has a very famous and fantastic book called Pure, White, and Deadly, which I will give you its summary in the future. And Professor Tim Knox from South Africa, who has published more than 750 scientific books and articles. And he has been cited more than 16,000 times in scientific literature. And Professor Dr. Robert Lustig, with his famous and great book, Metabolical, The Lure and Lies of Processed Food, Nutrition, and Modern Medicine and Professor Peter Gotze with his great book also, Deadly Medicines and Organized Crime, and other noble and great doctors whom all of them, all of them are against what this man and Keys has done to humanity. In this channel, you will learn scientific information about diabetes, high blood pressure, obesity, about food, uh, like fruit, like vegetables, meat, fish, spices, vitamins, minerals, and almost every edible thing. My body weight used to be 110 kilograms, and within three months, I dropped 27 kilograms. Uh, and since then, until now, as you can see, my weight is 83, which is the ideal weight. You will understand how amazing your body is, and you will learn to master your health, stay healthy naturally, and have a quality life. Not only you will add years to your life, but also you will add life to your years. If your health is important to you, I suggest you join the Challengers family, those who challenge diabetes, and do not forget to hit the bell button so you will not miss any new video because maybe a solution or an answer to your question uh, is in that video. I would like to thank all our family members, those who join the channel, and those who are going uh, to join with my heartfelt gratitude. I hope to see all of you over the top with a healthy, wealthy, and prosperous life. Thank you for watching with my heartfelt gratitude.